Hey everybody, welcome back to Watch It Played. My name is Rodney Smith and this is... Luke Smith. And we're here to continue our playthrough of... Ashes. Rise of the Phoenix Born. Before we get started though, there was a slight error in the last episode. Sorry about that. Luke had a mist spirit that died and I put a status token on top of my silver snake when that happened. But I was not directly responsible for that mist spirit dying. Do you remember no. how that died? I had to get rid of my growth spirit. Yeah, your massive growth. Ah, uh, massive growth. Spell. Yes, yes, it went away. And then there was already some damage on the mist spirit, so it killed it. But I wasn't directly responsible, so I don't get to take this status token. So now I only, only have an attack strength of four, which is still pretty good. You'll also notice as we play that we've got our cards now on one of the Ashes play mats. This was given out at the uh, Gen Con 2015 event. I actually have some for some of the other Phoenix Borns as well. There's one for each. And I have to say, the artwork on these is just stunning, don't you yeah. think? I mean, this yeah. is by, again, Fernanda Suarez. The artist did all the artwork on Ashes, and she does amazing, amazing work. She was there signing playmats, signing cards, and they even have a playmat for um, the promo, the, uh, the promo Phoenix Born as well. I'm not sure exactly how these will be made available in the future. Uh, they had them again as, uh, as tournament prizes. Whether you won or lose, you get a play mat, and if you won the tournament, you get a full set of them. So, pretty fantastic. Right now, uh, I have Maoni on here, which is the Phoenix board I'm using. Um, uh, next episode, if you survive, survive that long, we'll put out uh, Aradell on the table. But let's get started with the gameplay, shall we? So we had some great suggestions. The one that got the most votes, or actually, I'm not sure this one got the most votes, but it's the one I kind of felt like, all right, this is a, a strategy that I can you know, follow a little more clearly. Came from Zava Abulens, and, uh, but Luke's going first. Yes. So let's go to the table, see what you're gonna do, and then we'll try to execute this strategy. I'll be starting with my side action, using the shifting mist ability, allowing me to change two dice to any side I want. Right. I'll change this and this to mm. frogs. Wow, frogs. okay. You've got four dice on your power side now. Yes. Very good. And now for my main action, I'll be playing the card Steady Gaze. I have to spend two masks. Right. And then it lets me put two exhaustion tokens on target unit. Wow, okay. Well, this is actually going to change my strategy for my turn. I was not expecting that. Because not only is my Silver Snake shut down for this round, but for the next one as well. So Luke, my hope had been to attack you with this Silver Snake. Not today. <laughs> no, not today. But if I had been able to, it would have been four damage, possibly even more by yeah. boosted that damage, which would have really put a serious hurt on Aerodel. What I actually thought you were gonna do was summon something to, to block. Yes, to have to block. Yeah. I'm not entirely out of options. I just hadn't intended to use this in this way. This is open memories. It's gonna cost me a heart and a basic. I think I will convert this one. Hmm, even that's a challenging decision at this point. What this lets me do is search through my draw pile. We saw this before and then I can find a card that I want and then put it into my hand. I've chosen this one here and then I have to shuffle up my deck, of course, because now I've seen what's in my deck and where it's located. And now I don't know. I have the option to do a side action, but there isn't one that I want to do at this time. So Luke, back over to you. For my turn, I'm going to play the card Summon Butterfly Monk, and no side action. And just as a quick reminder, the more Summon Butterfly Monk spells that Luke has in play, the higher the life value of each Butterfly Monk, because it's based on the number of these spells out. So right now, your Butterfly Monks, when summoned, will have a life value of two. That's the plan. Now, hopefully I can come up with a plan. All right, my silver snake, I need to wake it up. It's been lazing around too much. I am going to use Refresh. This is actually the spell that I just pulled out of my deck. And it's gonna cost me a heart and a basic. I'll use this one here. And it allows me to remove all exhaustion tokens from a target unit. I'm gonna, of course, target my silver snake. And now it's back in the action. Oh. <laughs> yes, a threat looms, Luke. Well, maybe I have another steady gaze. Yeah, maybe you do. Let's find out. Well, looks like I need some defenders. I'm going to summon the Miss Spirit, which will take one mask, but yes. I'll use a wolf instead. Okay. And then one basic, but I'll use a leaf instead. Right. That's right. If you spend the basic, you get to put a second Miss Spirit out, right? So. Yes. All right, so now you have some defenders on the battlefield, which is smart because otherwise I definitely would have gone after Aerodel. So, are you gonna perform a side action, Luke? No. For my main action, I am going to summon a Gilder. This is gonna cost 
a leaf, like so. And when the Gilder is summoned, I also can cause one damage to a target unit, and I'll pick this Mist Spirit. No, don't leave me, Freddy! <laughs> you started naming your Mist Spirits? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I would bother doing that. I'm going to make sure they don't stick around for too long. Well, I get a status token for defeating Freddy, and I am not going to use a side action at this time. Although I realize I'm really not taking anyone's advice at this point. I'm kind of off on my own trail here. And that is one of the challenges because this game is definitely all about the back and forth and the interaction that can change things in a heartbeat. Luke, over to you, pal. I'm going to meditate, discarding the shifting miss card. Okay, and what are you converting? This into a wolf. Man, you wanted Paradise this turn, didn't you? <laughs> and now, yeah. I'm going to do the Summon Miss Spirit. Yes. I need a mask, I'll do a wolf. Okay. And I need a basic for a second one, and I'll use a leaf. So you're bringing out two, two Miss more. Spirits. Doesn't take you long to fill up the board again with all the summoning that you can do. One of our other viewers, Luigi Nyko, had offered a suggestion of playing Call Upon the Realms at the start of my turn, actually, to convert some dice. I think I'm going to do that now. I'm going to convert both of these to snakes. And this one here, obviously I'll turn into a frog. You have all power dice. All power dice. But having the power and knowing how to use it, two totally different things. I could certainly use a side action right now, but I, I, I'm again going to hesitate to do that. I'm going to turn it over to you, Luke. Finally, I get to do what I was preparing for this whole round. <laughs> Did I just walk into your trap? You could say that. Have I been preventing you from doing something? Yes, actually. But not now? Nope. Oh dear. What, what, is, what do you got cooking here? I'm going to summon a butterfly monk, which cost one frog. frog. Yes. I'll put this on the battlefield. Okay. And for my side action, I'm going to be playing the card out of the myth. Oh no. Which will cost one wolf and one frog. I was wondering why you converted that basic into a wolf when you already had a wolf. Yes. And that's because you needed the wolf for this. Yes. Out of the Mist is just deadly. So this lets you deal X amount of damage to a target unit. You're also gonna get to draw a card after this, which is ridiculous. But X is the number of units that you have in play. So when I was pinging off these different guys, yes. and I got the Gilder and you killed, killed one. You killed one of them, I'm like, dang it. <laughs> well, look at this, you've got four on the field now. Who do you wanna target, my Gilder? No. no, your snake and kill it. You know what I should have done? I, I could have used my side action to spend a snake die, drop this on top of my silver snake, and would give it one extra life and one extra attack. But I had no idea you were going to be able to swing through and just strike this. And if you used one of your frogs, which would deal one damage to a target unit, yes. it would kill one of my mist spirit, and then I'd have no way of... Yes, if I had killed one of your missed spirits. And I didn't want to spend those frogs because, well, I have other plans for them, but maybe I should have. <laughs> All right, well, this is going to go away. And I get to draw a card. Right, and I'll uh, remove my silver snake from the battlefield as well. What a power turn. And. <laughs> All that damage you did. These guys are still all unexhausted and able to attack. Wow, Luke. Very nicely done. All right. I think what I need to do is summon a silver snake. It's going to receive a focus token because I have two copies of that spell out. And I'm going to have to spend these two dice. <sighs> Again, I'm stuck here because I have a side action. I could use the die ability, for example, and just take out one of these missed spirits so he has one less thing to attack with or one less thing to defend with. <sighs> but again, I'm going to hold off, I think. Dad, I'm going to attack your Phoenixborn with my three missed spirits. Okay. Well, I am not going to stand for that. I am going to put some blockers in front. I'll definitely uh, block a missed spirit with my Gilder and with a silver snake. That means this Miss Spirit for sure is gonna get through. Yes. So I'll add the damage now so we don't forget. How about we throw an exhaustion token on this one as well? These ones will also be exhausted, but I might be killing one of them. The decision I have to make is do I want to not just block, but counter these attacks. I think I will counter this attack, which means, Luke, your Mist Spirit is going to die. My Gilder is going to be exhausted, which would give my silver snake Another status token. But we have to remember, Luke, you actually get to determine the order in which these attacks are resolved. Well, I would resolve the Silver Snake attack first, then. 
Right. So even though I jumped the gun there, Luke, we'll have this one resolved. I'm actually not going to counter. I'm just going to take the damage here because I don't want my silver snake exhausted at this point. But your Miss Spirit is. And again, for the defeated Miss Spirit, I'm also going to gain that status token. All right. Well, do you have a side action you want to take? No. Okay, this is tricky. Uh, you won't realize it because I edited my thinking time out of the video, but <laughs> I've been sitting here for a while trying to figure out what to do. It's this extra die that's really causing me the most difficulty because I know Luke can meditate if he wants to, and then he'll have a frog symbol, which he can use to summon a butterfly monk. I know that if I attack his butterfly monk with my silver snake, it's going to help him heal Aridel. But I'm committing to a decision. I am going to have my silver snake attack this butterfly monk. I will counterattack, of course. Right, because you're going to die anyway. Yes. So you may as well. So I'm going to be exhausted. I'm going to do a total of two attack damage to the monk, which will kill it. Yes. You're going to do... One damage to the silver snake. Yes. And when this dies, a couple things happen. First of all, it has last blessing. So you can actually remove one wound from a target unit or phoenixborn. Do you feel like healing my snake? No. <laughs> I didn't think so. But I do get the help of a bonus status token because the monk was defeated. I'm still tempted to use a side action at this time, but I am not going to. I'm going to wait and see what Luke does. Dad, I'm not going to summon a butterfly monk. I'm going to kill your snake. What? My fake spawn's ability. If no, I spend no, 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 no. Yes. I need a fatigue. Sure, sure you do. Fatigue, monsieur. There you go. And oh, a no. leaf. I do two damage to a target <laughs> unit. Look, he has two damage I, on him for uh, life. <gasps> I did not think about that when I was thinking about everything else. He's dead. <sighs> he Remove is. Remove him. He is dead. Oh my goodness. I cannot wait to read the comments on this video and hear everyone tell me about all the terrible choices I made. Memo to self. Lock the comments. But I really didn't see that coming, and I should have. Okay, Luke's out of dice. He's out of options. No matter what I do, he can't respond. Well, I have to do my main action. Oh, that's right. What's your main action? Pass. <laughs> okay, you're right. Well, thankfully, that's not too threatening. For my main action, I am going to play something that's going to feel really good to play. Molten Gold. It's going to oh. cost me... Two of the frog symbols, two power dice, place three wound tokens on a target unit or phoenix born. My Miss Spirit, George, is fine with dying. <laughs> You're naming this one George? Yes. All right, I'll come for George next. But no, I am going to target your phoenix born. I'll just put on this damage of five and remove these two singles. So Luke, you're down to 10 life. I'm down to 18. I'm not using a side action this turn. Luke, back over to you. Pass. I think I'm going to be passing too, Luke. Okay, we're into the recovery phase. Nothing can heal wounds and recover that way. But everything removes one exhaustion token. And Luke, you have a lot of exhaustion tokens to yes. remove. We can also exhaust any dice we might like to. I'm going to keep this snake die. Thankfully, I'm going to get the first player token, which I think will be helpful next turn. And now it's time for us to roll some dice. Now, before we roll our dice, you'll notice one of the dice trays have changed slightly. This is a Watch It Play dice tray that actually got released during our current fundraiser for the fifth season of Watch It Played. We had a limited number of these that we were giving away at the highest perk level. We'll hopefully be adding more later, and certainly in the long run, this is something you'll be able to pick up. One of the neat features here is there's a spot for you to store dice that has a magnetized lid. And I'm hoping that this improved dice tray is gonna give me some really good luck. You ready to roll, Luke? Oh yeah. You know what? This is, this is actually a pretty good roll for me. I got three power dice, three of the mid-level, and three of the basics. I'll take that. Of course, Luke just has his own built-in luck. He got three power dice as well. Okay, the next thing we have to do is discard any cards from a hand that we might want to get rid of before drawing back None up. None for me? Yeah, I don't think I will either. Uh, so I'm going to draw three. How about you? Three for me. Three as well. Hmm, okay. Not too bad. Well. This is awkward. <laughs> You've got an awkward hand? Yeah. Okay, I look forward to seeing what that means. But this round, yes. intense. Did you find it quite intense? Me. Yeah, tell me why. Because I was trying to get out four guys because I had none to start. And I'm like, oh, to don't get that, kill any to, to kill my Yeah. Snake. Yes. So and I was I, just <laughs> praying, don't kill any of the guys. And then you ticked off. That's why the Gilder knocked one of them out, right? Yeah. And then I think I knocked another one out? No. 
No, it was the, it no. was the gilder coming out and, and pinging one of them that. Breathed. And then I was like, oh great, now it's going to be all about what you play next. Yeah, and I guess thankfully for you, I, I didn't foil up your plans too much. I did get a bit of damage on you, despite feeling a bit yes. foiled at every turn. Uh, so hopefully the next round, again, with your help, please, in the comments below after you finish telling me how ridiculous I am, please give me some suggestions about what I should do for the next turn. Obviously, I need your help. Whichever suggestion gets the most votes I might or might not do, <laughs> I will try to do it. But until the next episode, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching.